We believe in love. We believe in love, family, brotherhood, sisterhood, generosity, trust, and um, well-being. So what we serve here is what we have. Um, my name is Ben, and this is Anapurna. So welcome to the garden. This is the Anapurna Future Garden. Um, this garden will eventually supply some of the needs of Anapurna. Whatever the garden can produce, it will all go to the restaurant. And um, it's all organic, homegrown organic. This is jamu. It's a traditional Indonesian um, medicinal drink, I suppose you'd say. Uh, they've been drinking it since the beginning of time. Almost 90% turmeric. Mixed with a bit of tamarind, uh, lime and brown sugar. For now, we actually have been supplying Anapurna with a couple of things. And one of the things is basil. It's flowering right now, but we pick the flowers because we don't want it. <laughs> we want the leaves. Heaps and heaps of papayas almost ready. And we also use the raw papayas for um, salads and noodles. We make raw papaya noodles, uh, papaya curry. Here in Anapurna, we try to incorporate as much food from the garden as possible. Like this baby over here, this guy is raw, I would say, ma immature uh, papaya. Young papaya, unripened papaya, made into a soupy vegetable. Um, this is called sayur urap, which is mixed green vegetables with uh, chopped up coconut. Um, pergadel jagung, which is uh, deep fried corn fritters. Tempe and tahu. And we invite everyone to come join us at the lunch table. So please enjoy your lunch and uh, feast among kings. This is a local salad, which has been half eaten by the chickens. The chickens love it. So we usually make a salad, like a raw salad with like peanut sauce. It's really tasty. If the chickens love it, I love it. We got two ducks, two chickens, and seven chicks. <coughs> Sadly, we lost one the other week. Uh, we lost one from drowning. So she was in a pool, so sad. But that's life, and life moves on. We are happy to have seven strong chicks and growing every day, which is purely fed from the waste of Anapurna. And they're super, super fat. So, um, yeah, they're organic, homegrown, and the best you can get. <laughs> There's many, many different kinds of people who sit next to each other. Like they don't go to a restaurant and have their own table, but they sit on a community table. And like somebody might have um, or know something about a land here, and somebody might uh, be a horticulturist or something. And they connect together and they create something from that. You know? And that's the beauty from community and that's what we're trying to build here we're trying to build a space where we can connect the communities and also give back to the community 
this is for everyone. We don't discriminate. This is for tourists, locals, um, crazy people, <laughs> whoever walks in our door, we serve. So it's for everybody. Yeah, everybody's welcome. There's no discrimination. So this is our fish pool. <laughs> so we're gonna start farming catfish and um, they are very good to farm because they eat anything. We don't want any waste. All of our waste goes back to the garden, to the chickens, to the fish, to the cats. We have cats. Um, and also to the street dogs around the warung. So we try to give back all the organic stuff back to the where it came from and uh, hopefully the universe provides, you know. tricky to say because like so, it, what's the intention behind people coming into Bali is it to really appreciate the culture and the tra tradition or is it just to stay in a hotel which gives them the uh, comforts of back home development of Bali is very recent this place in my opinion has such a strong magnetic pull it's so biodiverse in many different ways that it attracts a lot of attention and when there's a lot of attention, there needs to be certain protection or conservation in that way. Like we want to promote recycling and um, organic and non-organic bins because it's, it's been done before, but it's always done and died and done and died. It's never really um, promoted to the locals, I guess. Like really getting it into the locals. These recycling companies are built for profit and they take from the expats like they they put bins in their house and they take it for for a monthly membership and stuff like that but it doesn't really work for us to have projects to show to the people what we can do to um, make Bali more sustainable like for example the bins you know, to put it in the street you know and have have an example. If, if we have an example, then people can yeah. follow. This is a work in progress and um, we need all the support that we can get and um, in any way. So we need manpower, you know, like it's a hard uh, task maintaining a group, maintaining a garden. Hi, my name is Ben and this is Anapurna. Yo, my name is Chris and this is Anapurna. Being a careless tourist means coming here to Bali and not contributing in any way to their, you know, to their lifestyle and not getting involved and just leaving, having created a lot of waste. Well, if you come by the farmer's yard, you'll understand that it's actually more of a living alongside the locals and you understand what life in Bali actually is. It's not just, um, you know, a one-time pass through and you don't even get to meet the locals here, you can kind of integrate yourself and um, you get to feel for the place and you get you get the understanding of the locals. We try to adapt gardening as always so we get some most of our food from the garden into everyday uh, meals. 